Hey, good afternoon, JCPS, and happy Friday. I hope you had a great week. As you can see, we are here at Broadbent Arena for a second consecutive week. We weren't expecting to be here this week. We were probably going to do it sometime in the future, but we had to call an audible for the news that we heard yesterday, and we are so excited about that news. And what we found out yesterday, we were expecting February 1st to start the vaccination of our school-based employees. But the great news we heard yesterday was that a week from today, January 22nd, we will start with our first school-based employees with the vaccination next week. So I'll be here again next week um, for that vaccination process as we begin to bring schools and their employees uh, to get the vaccine. So exciting news. And really, I know we've used this before, but definitely a light at the end of the tunnel from this very difficult time we've had during this pandemic. We're going to start with our elementary schools so that we can work on getting our primary students back first. But we believe that in the next two weeks after the 22nd, we will have all of our JCPS employees that have requested a vaccine, over 13,000 will be coming through Broadbent Arena with the opportunity to get this vaccine. So it is great news. We know there will be a booster several weeks later, whether that's 21 days or 28 days, and we'll have a brief time in between. And then a recommendation will be going to our board about a potential return to school. They will have that decision to make, but we look forward to bringing a recommendation and getting our employees through this vaccination. So next Friday, we'll be back here again. Really exciting time for us as we move forward. But please remember, we're still in a very dangerous time in relationship to COVID-19 as our numbers in the community are high. So continue to follow those social distancing guidelines, wear a mask, um, and make sure that you follow all of the CDC guidelines. Also this week, I had a forum with the NAACP. Dr. Eva Stone and myself got to present about return to school and the future state with NAACP, and we were so uh, excited to see almost 160 participants in our virtual forum with the NAACP. And we are so happy to always partner with that great organization uh, to push us in the work that we are doing around racial equity and to provide information about the work we're doing in JCPS. Thank you very much for that opportunity, NAACP. And finally, staff and students, we know it's a three-day weekend. Everyone loves a three-day weekend, but don't forget the why for this three-day weekend. On Monday, it's Dr. Martin Luther King Day. And please remember the why for this three-day weekend, that we are celebrating the work of Dr. King and everything he did uh, for the United States of America. And specifically, it's the foundation of our racial equity policy in JCPS. And I know a lot of teachers and staff had great conversations uh, with students this week and lessons around Dr. King. So thank you very much for having that. And let's make sure to celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King on Monday. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Can't wait to see you here at Broadbent a week from today as we begin the vaccination process.